All right, y'all, this is the last one for 2020. I hope you enjoy what we've got lined up for the design and engineering portion of Fusion 360. Don't forget, if you want to know what's going on in the electronics or the cam space, check out those What's News after this one. So last month, we launched the first ever digital Autodesk University, which I have to say, I thought was a resounding success. Over 100,000 attendees, 750 plus classes, and updates from all the senior leaders in each space that Autodesk focuses on. If you missed it, have no fear, the internet is here. We kept all the assets up for anyone to enjoy. Check out the link in the description to explore Autodesk University 2020 in hindsight. Moving over to the sketching and modeling space, we're ending the year with a major tool revamp. Now, when you use the chamfer tool, you're going to have access to multiple groups of edges and different chamfer distances and angles for each group. For those of you who have always wanted face selection, well, we got you. Selecting a face will now chamfer the entire edge around the face, just like how Philip behaves. The revamp doesn't stop there. At the bottom of the command dialog, you now can choose corner type, which we've got chamfer, miter, and blend. Chamfer, you're familiar with. All of you have probably worked in a design and wish there was a miter option. Usually, you have to model the angle and then extrude or cut away. Not anymore. This will be massively helpful for all of you furniture and furnishing designers. Now, in the chamfer command, you've got the option to select your edge, input distance, and angle, and blammo, you're good to go. And then there's blend. I'm really into blend. I have to be honest, especially when I'm designing something where I want more soft edges, there were a lot of back and forth between surfaces and T-splines, which is great because they're all on the same tool. But now for those moments I want a quick option for making a round intersection, Blend is there to help. One more great tool in the new dialog box is the type. Here, you can easily access a couple of options that will help you move quicker through your design. Equal distance is the typical workflow, but the awesome factor really comes in with the two distance and distance and angle options. Real talk, not all chamfers are created equally, and these give you the tools to be specific. In two distance, you can now choose what profile line you move and how far you move it. This is great when you're working organically and may not know what you're going for or want to freeform profiles to interact with something else in your design. For those of you who may be a bit more, um, controlling? No, no, let's say exact. Distance and angle lets you specify the correlation between the two. This workflow is an amazing option when looking at draft angles and edge conditions in the design process. And to wrap it all up in a nice present, we've finally, yes, finally, added flip to two distance and distance angle chamfer. You're welcome. Let's mosey on over to the drawing space. Whether you love drawings or not, they're crucial to you being more productive and give you the chance to be exacting. Both tools that help you grow as a designer, fabricator, business owner, or manager. I've been talking about drawings for a while now and love them, and I'm stoked to see they're getting all the love. I'll also be honest, I'm impressed with what we've done, and I'm even more impressed with knowing what's on the roadmap. It's a secret, but it's all legit. As a fabricator myself, I know how annoying it is to get a set of drawings with no real information other than some pretty line drawings. I'm also a designer, and I know that sometimes my design tools don't have the info I need to share. So in other programs, it's a lose-lose. The Fusion 360 development team knows it too. That's why they've been rolling out updates like roller coasters, roll out loop de doos and twisty turns. This month, we're showing that by releasing weld symbols. Diving into this new edition, there's a lot to cover, so I'll let you explore a lot of it on your own, but here's the highlights. In the drawing space, under symbols, you'll find welding. Once you've selected an edge, place the leader and press enter. Once you've done that, you can dive into the options for specifying your intention. Under the weld type, you'll see a list of 21. Yes, I counted. 21 weld types for you to convey to the fabrication department or contractor. From flange to flare V down to scarves, this first box lets you define the type needed for your project. Staying in the drawing's arrow side, you can also capture leg, size, pitch length, and contour data. You can also add other side and tail side information to your drawings. Each portion has data associated with it to help you be accurate and exact on the first run. Oh, and don't miss the notes portion on the tail side option. 
Always good to leave notes. I'm partial to friendly messages like, thanks for being a boss. But I'm also not welding up things in the field, so take that with a grain of salt. But in all seriousness, if you're a specifier, fabricator, designer, or engineer who does loads of weld mints or weld details, dive into this. I think you'll be stoked. Okay, that's December's What's New for the design and engineering space. Don't forget the electronics and cam update on our channel. Also, don't forget, take a spin through Autodesk University. It's seriously stacked full of great information and the classes are incredible. Even if there are areas outside of product design or manufacturing that you're interested in, AU captures it. And I'd be seriously slacking if I didn't hype up next year. 2021 is going to be an incredible year for Fusion 360. We've got a ton of new content coming, new tools and workflows that will, I think, make your life easier. If you're interested in knowing what those are, keep an eye out on the blog for some roadmaps and deep dives coming. You can find a link in our description below for our excellent new blog. All right, y'all, that's it. 2020 is a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed the new features and functionality that's rolled out this year. I know I have. I'll catch you on the front side of 2021, but until then, have a wonderful winter season. Keep making, keep pushing. I'm signing off. Happy holidays.